Welcome to day 39 of 40 days of the Being Challenge here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I'm Pastor Scott, and today is Good Friday. Uh, we're nearing the end of Holy Week. We're nearing the end of this Being Challenge. We're nearing the end of the season of Lent. And we're nearing the end of Jesus' life, um, at least post or pre uh, resurrection. On this day, we remember that uh, Jesus was uh, placed on trial um, and convicted for a crime that he did not do. He was an innocent man, um, convicted to death, and uh, will be led um, to Golgotha to, um, to be crucified upon a cross. Um, and on that, that day, on that one day, the world changed forever. The kingdom of God changed forever. Our relationship with God changed forever. The Today's theme is one and the one and the 111. The one and the 111. And, and in a similar way, where we look at the one day of Good Friday, the day that Jesus was nailed to the cross and breathed his last, changed all the other days. Um, Pastor Zach encourages us, or reminds us, to, to, to focus on the, the one hour of the 112 of the week where we gather for worship. And uh, for those of us who are in the business of worship, um, we spend a lot of time planning and preparing for worship service. Today we actually have two services, one at noon, which is just an in-person service here in the sanctuary, and then one tonight at 7 o'clock, which will be live streamed as well as, as in person. And, and our, uh, our choir, our seasonal choir, will continue to bless us um, by singing through uh, the Good Friday portion of the cantata that uh, we've been focused upon during Holy Week. But the preparation we put into that one hour um, and that one hour that most of you actually, I mean, a Holy Week, hopefully, and perhaps you attend worship more than an hour. But in most weeks, most people, well, not even most people, the people who do attend worship um, are, are in worship for an hour. And then they have 111 hours of the week outside of that. How does that one hour affect the 111? Um, Paul encourages us to to actually have our whole lives be worship. And when we are gathered in worship, we're gathered with, to glorify God, to acknowledge who God is, to praise God, to, to receive, to hear the word, to receive the word, to receive the sacraments, and then to be sent back out, refreshed, renewed, to live out our faith, having been fed by the very word of God, the very body of Christ. If that one hour doesn't affect the other 111, um, we may be going about it incorrectly. And that's not to say that we're supposed to go out and do good works for the sake of trying to earn our way into heaven, for that is, couldn't be further from the truth. But what it does mean is that having been changed in that one hour, we should go back into the world changed, transformed. Uh, in the process of being transformed, sanctified, as Pastor Zach defines it. That one hour, worship doesn't only happen in that one hour. It should be a part of our day-to-day -day lives. And it should be a perspective that then we have and how we engage the world around us. And if, if the way that we feel connected to God in worship should be the way that we begin to feel connected to God throughout the rest of of the day throughout the rest of the week. One of the ways to do that is to be mindful. If you've been watching these videos for the last 38 days and are here watching here on the 39th and plan to do so tomorrow on the 40th, you have established a, a habit. Maybe it's a new habit, maybe it's an old habit for you. But a habit of, of engaging the scripture and being intentional about pausing at the beginning of your day or whenever it is you're doing it during your day to set time aside for God. Well, maybe as we transition off of the, the challenge, we'll celebrate Easter and um, go into the 
to the season of Easter, maybe you can transition this habit into one that, that you can maintain that will impact um, more of those hours for you in each and, and every week. Uh, tomorrow we'll be challenged to select a habit to, to continue. Um, but uh, maybe today you can begin to think about what that might be for you. Thanks again for spending a part of this day, this Good Friday, with me. And uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.